some good stuff. Hey y'all, so I'm making some wings and pizza tonight for dinner. I'm gonna make two different kinds. I'm gonna make buffalo and lemon pepper hey wings. Guys, you forgot. Click the bell. Click the, the thumbs up button for the comments section and here's some popcorn. Some <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. Okay, so I'm making homemade pizza and homemade wings. This was like the full chicken wingette. It had the I had to cut them up. I I take off that little um, the wingette part, the little ends from the wings, and I've washed these. I've cleaned these, and now I'm going to season these. I'm actually gonna make. Because I'm making two different types. So I'm gonna put the ones that I'm gonna make for the lemon pepper on this side. making the ones for the buffalo on that side I mean my hot oil heating up right now and then what I'm gonna do is and I have it in canola oil let's see I'm gonna put this is going to be for the buffalo so I'm gonna put some onion powder some garlic powder some complete and then some of this and then I'm gonna put some pepper some black pepper so let me go ahead and start seasoning it. Kind of make you want to make sure that their packets are. Sometimes it kind of cakes in in the package, so you just want to break it up a little bit before you open it. I love garlic powder. And then let me get my black pepper. So I have just some ground black pepper here. So I'm not gonna stir that up yet. I'm gonna work on this one. So I have two for the lemon pepper one. I have lemon pepper and I have this adobo with cilantro and lime. I'm gonna show you how I make the sauces with this. Start mixing this up. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more of this. A little bit more of the lemon pepper. The one that one's full. Uh, yeah, it's for the kids. Cohen, your pigs in the blanket are done. If you want some bun. So this is what that looks like right now. This is just a lemon pepper, but you're really gonna get the lemon pepper taste too when you start making the sauce. And I usually make that with butter. Butter and lemon juice on there, or you could even make these as lime chicken but I have some lemon and lime. I'm gonna use lemon 
And then I'm gonna put some lemon pepper in the sauce. So butter, lemon juice, and lemon pepper, you really get that taste. So now I'm gonna mix up my other one here, and this is for the buffalo chicken. Dog now. Okay. And that's how that looks right there. So I have that hot oil, the canola oil heating up. I'm gonna make some pizza with this, some homemade pizza. And if you're interested in watching that video, you can, I'm going to have a separate video for the, the pizza itself. Hey guys, I like to sing. Mom, I like to sing the little. Yes, you do, bunny. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to start making the buffalo chicken wings. I'm sorry if I moved it there. these in the air fryer too. I want to give them a little bit of space as they cook. I finished cooking these up. I'll, I'll come back to you. So while I'm cooking up my wings, I am making the sauce for it. So I'm just going, I have one stick of salted butter right there. And I'm going to pour about a cup of this in there of my Louisiana. Let me get that in there and I'll show you what that looks like next. So I have, I have my first batch done here. I don't know if you can see it any better. I can't really see. I hope you can see it there. And they're golden brown. Again, I use canola oil with this one. So I'm just working on my second batch and then my, oh, I finally made the sauce too. I finished up with the sauce. Let me show that here to you. So I finished up with the sauce. And again, that was like one stick of butter and one cup of hot sauce. Use your favorite hot sauce. Um, I suggest Louisiana, but use your favorite one, crystals, whatever you got. If you have Hooters, Hooters already has the butter in that hot sauce, so you don't have to do any of, any extra. So I'm going to finish up on this batch, let that finish cooking, and then... Once I get this done, I'm going to start putting the, these wings right here. 
and the hot sauce. I just want to double check, make sure everything's cooked, which I believe so. But let me just double check, make sure it looks good. And then once I've done that, I'm going to put them in that butter sauce so that way it really clings on to it. And I'll show you what that looks like next. So I already checked the inside. Now I'm just, I'm just throwing them in here. Let them soak up the juices. And it's better to cook them in canola oil versus vegetable oil because it gets too hard when you cook them in vegetable oil. I like vegetable oil for my french fries because they come out crispy. But for your chicken wings, if you want them nice and juicy, use canola oil is what I would recommend. But like you always hear me say, go with what you got. So let me show you what that looks like next. After I, I get the, I'm going to show you what the lemon pepper looks like. So I'm making the sauce for my lemon pepper. It's just one stick of butter. I'm going to put it in the microwave for about a minute. So this is my, this is the lemon pepper ones that I've just finished up frying. I'm making the sauce where I'm just letting the butter, letting the butter melt. And then um, I'm gonna mix the lemon pepper sauce with the chicken wings and I'm gonna show you what it all looks like. So here's the butter for the stick of butter I just melted in the microwave for 60 seconds and it's all melted up. I'm going to add this lemon pepper. Now add as much lemon pepper as you want because and I'll probably go back and add a little bit more even when it's even when I added some there. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the lemon Just a tad of it, just some lemon juice. Just to give it that flavor. So I'm gonna wait for my for my um, last batch of lemon pepper wings to cook and then I'll put it all together. So my homemade pizza, that's the lemon pepper, and then with the buffalo wings. So I'm going to give them a try. some good stuff. Mm, turn the lemon pepper. Thank you. 